In this video, we'll discuss how to trigger report refresh in mode after a dbt cloud run. Let's dive in. We're gonna jump right into Shipyard for this one and search for our dbt cloud blueprints. Um, and you can see that we have an execute job blueprint here. Um, so I'm gonna click that. Um, that's gonna pop up our authorization guide. So if this is your first time using dbt cloud uh, inside of Shipyard, uh, I'd go ahead and click on that and it's gonna walk you through how to get all the information to get your service token that you're gonna need in just a moment. I'm gonna close that for right now. I'm going to name this vessel execute dbt cloud job. Uh, then we need our service token. So let me grab that. Our service token. We need our account ID and our job ID as well. Okay, so that's going to start that job. Um, but so we can set this thing up so it starts the job and then runs our mode refresh. Um, however, we, I, we, we really want to know when the dbt cloud job is complete. So we're going to need to add one more blueprint in between or one more vessel in between here. So again, I'm going to search for this and you can see that we have a check run status blueprint here. Uh, so I'm going to click that, um, and name, close the authorization guide again, um, check run status. Um, we need our service token again, we need our account ID. And then since we're connecting it to an execute job uh, vessel, we don't need to fill out the run ID there. Um, so now we can connect those together. So what these two, what these two vessels are going to do together is going to start the job in dbt cloud, and then it's going to check whenever it's finished. And as soon as it's finished, it's going to kick off the next vessel that we're going to put in there. So let me change some guardrails here. Uh, so we're okay with this thing retrying, um, and we'll do a five minutes of time between retries there. Um, and runtime cutoff is fine. Okay, so now the last one we want to do is go to our mode, our mode blueprints, and you can see that we have a trigger report refresh. I'm going to click that uh, again. There's our authorization guide for mode. I'm going to close that. So I'm going to trigger report refresh. Name it that. Uh, we need our token ID for mode. I'm going to paste that in there. Our token password. Paste that in there. Our work, our workspace name is Shipyard. And then I'm just going to get this specific report that I made earlier. It's a little example one. Uh, so now that's completely set up so I can connect those together. So again, I want to read through this uh, fleet one more time before we name it and run it. Um, so we're going to start our dbt cloud job here. If it's successful in starting, we're going to keep checking until it's finished. And then once it's finished successfully, we can trigger the mode refresh. Okay, so now we can name our fleet. So dbt cloud to mode. Okay, so now we can click save and finish. Uh, this is going to take us to a page telling us that the fleet has been created successfully, as we see here. Um, and then we can click run your fleet. So now I click run your fleet, it's going to schedule it to run immediately. Um, inside of Shipyard, we call this an on-demand run. Um, so anywhere that you're seeing documentation about on-demand runs anywhere, that's what we're getting at. Uh, anytime you're working with a fleet, whether you're in, the, in any of these tabs, you can click this purple run now button, and it's going to start an on-demand run for your fleet. Um, so there's also two other ways to start a fleet run inside of Shipyard using our triggers tab here. We can do a scheduling trigger, which is going to kick it off based on time. Um, and then we also have an API trigger where you can programmatically kick off these fleet runs if you'd like as well. Um, so you can see whenever you start an on-demand run, uh, it's going to take you over into the fleet log. Um, and so this is going to give you a live view of what's happening in your fleet run vessel by vessel on the Gantt chart and on the table below. Um, so what you can see is the execute dbt cloud job. Uh, that one kicked off, so the job, and I could even click into that, and it's going to tell us that uh, job 24990 on account 19812 um, has been kicked off and has been started. So we know that our DBT job is started, uh, but you'll see that the second the second vessel failed. So usually in Shipyard, or usually in any data product, or any product in general, you probably don't want a failure. Uh, but this one's fine, because what this vessel is doing is it's going to DBT, it's seeing if it's finished. If it's not finished, it's going to come. It's going to come back as a fail. Or if it's something's aired out inside of DBT, it's going to come back as a fail as well. Uh, but this one is. It's. It just hasn't finished yet, so it's coming back as a fail. And then that that um, that that timer we put in our guardrails earlier, it's going to go back and check again in five minutes. Um, so I'm going to pause this for right now, and then I'll come back whenever that's that check is complete. Okay, so we can see that that ves that vessel re kicked off, so it retried a second time. Um, and since the dbt cloud job was finished, it's finished successfully this time. Um, and now you can see the mode vessel is kicked off here um, and is also just finished running as well. Um, so now I can click into that one and look at the output and you can see that uh, the run report for ID was successfully triggered. Um, so now that mode report is now is now triggered as well. So in this video, we talked about how to go from uh, running a dbt cloud job to then refreshing a mode report right afterwards.
If you have any questions about this solution or how you can use Shipyard in your organization, use the link in the description to set up a time to chat with our team of data experts. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, check out these related videos.